Hey guys, this is Paul Potter with Crappie Fishing TV. Today in this episode, we're going to go out here and catch some crappie shooting docks. And we're going to be showing you guys how to do it. It's coming up right now in this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you guys increase your crappie fishing catch rate by sharing tricks and techniques that I use as a crappie fishing guide here on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. So make sure and hit that subscribe button. Give us a like by hitting the thumbs up below. So we are out here in Northeast Oklahoma at Grand Lake. And uh, if you guys don't know, Grand Lake has a lot of boat docks on this lake. Not every lake is even allowed to have boat docks, uh, but the ones that are, uh, it allows for some really good fishing because crappie love the cover uh, that a boat dock provides. They love getting into those dark places, uh, places they can hide that don't get a lot of fishing pressure. That's where they like to hang out. So today what we're going to go do is, is basically take our jig and we're going to slingshot it up into these docks. If you don't know what shooting docks is, you're basically taking your jig, pulling it back and slingshotting it into little bitty spaces. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on one sec. Hey, what's up, Peyton? Yeah? You want to go shoot a, you want to go shoot a video? All right. I'll meet you at your slip here in about five minutes all right bye well that was just hayden williams he's out and about just got done with a guide trip so i'm gonna go over to his dock jump on his boat and we're gonna go film this dock shooting video right now stay tuned Hey everybody, my name's Hayden Williams with Williams Guide Service. I am 19 years old and I started my guide business last May. It's May 2020, I graduated in May of 2019. And I, so I've been doing it for a year now and ever since I started guiding, the conditions have been crazy. I haven't seen years like this on Grand. We've had a bunch of cold fronts. It's May and the fish ain't even spawning yet. They should be done spawning. So it's been a really weird year. Um, we're about to go shoot some docks, and that's how I've been catching all my fish, is shooting docks. We've been doing this all April and May, and usually we're throwing jigs on the bank in April. Well, this year, we're throwing them up underneath docks. That's how we're getting them. So, uh, we've, I think we've boated around 4,000 or 3,800 to 4,000 crappie this year. It's only May, so that's from January to May with my guide service. So, we've been doing really, really well, and uh, we're going to go see if we can't put some in the boat this evening and I'm going to show you guys how I've been fishing these docks, how I've been shooting them and it's been working really good for me so come on let's go. I'm looking for a spot on these docks, like between these pieces of foam, these gaps in here. That's what I'm looking for is a dock that's got those gaps in it where you can actually shoot under there and get to the fish. And a lot of times at the backs of the boats, on the boat lifts, there will be a gap about this tall or so, and you can skip down the whole boat lift if you got fish underneath the boat lift. And 
just looking for stuff like that i mean these gaps are pretty tall so they're not very, really hard to dock shoot under sometimes if you get wave runner lifts they won't be very far up off the water and they can be a little bit more challenging but this stuff i mean you can come out here and practice and get get it down pretty quick and so whenever i'm dock shooting all you're doing is you're holding your trigger finger on the line and then you're grabbing the bait just like that and you're loading the rod tip by pulling that back and you're letting go of everything at the same time and I always grab that bait just like that at the back of that jig head and that avoids you getting a hook in your finger because that is not fun I've done it before you do not want to hold them hold them like that is that bait's gonna flip back and get your finger like that if you hold it like that like I said I, I usually keep my jig the last eye of my rod is where I set it at to pull it back and you're just pulling that rod back getting tension on it and letting go of everything at the same time and getting up underneath there caught them on a that's a two inch uh, flea fly go go minnow and that's a 16th ounce big guy jig head it's not really a big guy anymore but that's what we caught them on and uh, we're just shooting these docks i like using these big guys because they got a really flat head on them and they can skip across the water and get back in these tight spots like this that, that fish was up underneath that dock at the front of that boat right there and shot it right in that gap right there but what we're out here doing is dog shooting.